Not sure if I'm doing this right. Um, hopefully I am. If anybody is listening, please let me know. There's a live chat option. Okay, sorry y'all. Um, I am gonna be learning this live thing on YouTube as I go. So um, we are actually going, going to be making um, some dinner. I'm gonna be making breakfast for dinner right now. Um, hoping to make a like breakfast style pizza. So I am super pumped. Um, this is a really easy recipe, especially for all of those of you that are staying home and you know are tired of eating same thing oh my god yeah i'm getting things the video is working good now okay good hey guys so excited okay so what you're gonna need for this is um puff pastry but if you don't have puff pastry or can't find it um some um, crescent rolls will work too just unroll them into a sheet pan make sure they're really flat hey what's up cami hey um and so this gonna look like this so I actually use puff pastry, although I prefer the crescent ones because they taste better, but this is all they had at the grocery store. I went to Walmart today, by the way, and they are starting to do, I mean, I guess it's a really good thing, but they're starting to only let uh, a certain number of people in at one time, which is insane. Um, but I mean, it's pretty cool that they're actually making it work and it was actually pretty organized, um, a lot more organized than I expected it to be. Um, but anyways, um, Let's start. So, after you have uh, your crust rolled out like this, you want to set your oven to 400 uh, while you're preparing everything. And this is basically going to be just like whatever you guys prefer to eat for breakfast. I eat like two to three eggs a day, so I like a lot of eggs. Probably going to put, just fill this up with eggs, bacon, cheese, uh, spinach, some turkey, anything. So first thing you want to do actually, um, is you want to make a crust. Hey y'all. Thanks for joining all those new people. I love your videos. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. So the first thing you want to do is, this is going to be really, really difficult to show you. Oh, let me just, there we go. You want to take the edges and you want, you want to actually make a kind of thick border with that. So when you put a bunch of stuff in there, like your eggs, they don't just fall out. You want to do that to all sides. So we're making kind of like a crust here. And this will actually be my first time making this with puff pastry, so hopefully it comes out like similar to what I want it to look like, or at least taste like. Hey everybody in the chat, how you doing? Hope everybody is doing good and staying healthy and safe during all this craziness. I am about to start going crazy. Um, I have to stay in the house one more day. So, don't know about y'all. All right. Oh, that's what you want. Are you still fishing a lot right now? I am fishing a lot right now. I think I'm going out like three times a day. Uh, a week now trying to at least just to get out of the house. Um, I'm not doing charters though um, I am technically still doing charters, but I've had like 99% of the charters that I had scheduled for this month cancel which is totally understandable You know traveling right now is super unsafe um, That roll technique is all point things um, So yeah, it's been it's been really hard and I mean, I can only imagine, you know, other small businesses and because, I mean, thank God I, I prepared and I had like a little cushion, so I'm fine right now, but there's a lot of people that didn't and I'm just really, I feel really bad for those people. So try to support your, your small local businesses if possible. Um, okay, so after you do this, you're going to take your eggs. Sorry, I wish I had like a 
Maybe I can put this somewhere where you can see everything. Be up here. Can you see me and this? Better? Better? Okay. That's better. Do you put any spray bakery oil or oil underneath the pastry? Great question. Uh, I don't. Um, so this act, this one actually came aligned with uh, a little thing of parchment paper already on it. Um, so it's a really good brand if you can find one that already has something on it. But even when you don't, I usually just put um, some aluminum foil. And if you want to add like a really thin layer of cooking spray or butter or whatever you prefer to use, that's awesome. Okay, so you're going to take your eggs and you literally just want to Crack them into this little thing that you created. Shoot, you can't even see that. Sorry, y'all. Oh, great. Now you get oops and my cooking mess. Just fabulous. Going back up. <laughs> All right. You get some more. Oh my goodness, this shirt literally looks like a freaking dress on me. I have pants underneath, I promise. Um, okay, so you gotta get more eggs. So, depending on um, how many eggs you usually like to eat, depends, you know, on how many eggs you put in. I usually put eat two to three eggs a day, like I said before. So, I'm gonna think add like five eggs just to fill the whole pastry up completely. Nothing wrong with foods and food. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, that's number four. One more. One more. All right. There we go. Now, toppings. Um, all right, this is like gonna be really annoying. There we go. Uh, face and everything. So I have little bacon bits. I already like cook the bacon before I started this chat. So I wouldn't have to like, you, you guys wouldn't have to hear the crease oil or anything like that. So we're just gonna put all of our toppings on. Of course, bacon is like a necessity for me. It's a lot, but you know, can you really ever have enough bacon? Been subscribed for a while. Never caught you live, sending positive vibes. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot. Uh, yeah, this is actually my first time going live. So this, uh, it hasn't been a train wreck thus far. I haven't figured out the uh, camera angle yet, uh, but I'm working on it. All right, so other toppings I'm gonna include are some fresh, fresh spinach, some cheese, and some turkey. So. Brown. It isn't a freaking Cami Cakes cooking video without one of the cats in it, is it? <laughs> All right, so we just kind of want to sprinkle that on there like so. I don't like this one. There we go. All right. And I actually do have another video that I'm posting, um, I think tomorrow actually, more bacon. <laughs> That's all I made. Um, but it, it actually came out really cool. I ran out of things to do around the house and so I called up my neighbor and I asked them if they wanted to do a little fishing competition. Um, Um, a fishing competition and so that's what we did so it's a really let me just while I talk this is a really fun video I'm gonna post hopefully tomorrow and we just bet like crawfish so whoever caught more fish like bought crawfish had to buy crawfish for the other person and I don't want to like ruin it y'all but I freaking killed it um so can make sure you look out for that tomorrow 2020 calendar. 
Uh, there will be a 2020 calendar. Um, I usually don't like to start making them until like later in the year, but, and with everything that's going on, <laughs> it's hard to like think about anything right now with this whole thing. All right, cheese. And thank you, Duty Ron, for, um, for that. That's so nice. Okay, so I am not picky with cheese. Uh, so just add your favorite cheese and you want to put some kind of everywhere. Also, I'm also going to put some turkey breast in here. So good. Do you have a veggie garden? I do. I'm so excited about it. I actually just started it last week and kind of cheated a little bit because a lot of the plants that I did buy from my vegetable garden are like already like small plants. So like I didn't, I avoided the hard part of actually like having to start growing them from scratch, <laughs> I guess. Um, but it's going good. I actually have, I, I actually put, about little onions to, to grow and I put one and I actually put one in my kitchen I'll show you and I actually started sprouting this morning where is it can you see it look at that how cute is that oh my gosh I'm so proud so that's exciting I think five pounds of bacon a quarter of a leaf of spinach and ten pounds Jeez. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right, so I uh, just want to add a little more turkey bacon or a uh, turkey breast, and that's good for me. I was going to add some mushrooms, but and more cheese. So this is what I got going so far. Delicious. All right, and make sure you preheated your oven to 400 and just want to put it in here. I actually don't know. I don't know how long this dough takes to cook, so let me. Um, 15 to 20 minutes. So let's just put the timer on for 15 minutes. All right, well that's in the oven, so not sure what to do on this video now. <laughs> Anybody have any questions, appropriate questions that I probably will answer on this live video? Don't go there. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret saying that, but. How many cats? I have four cats. Yeah, that's a lot of cats. But technically I had three cats, so I'm not totally crazy. And then, oh gosh, that's a lot of questions, okay. Um, and then I found this pregnant mom and she gave birth in my house and I was able to um, have all her kids adopted out and she was such a sweetheart I just had to keep her so four um what brand reels do you use um I currently use Shimano reels um but that's just because I've always kind of used them not because I'm promoting them or with them in any way I wish um what's up with the pan liner Oh, I just always, so I didn't know that these past, puff pastries actually came with a parchment paper already attached to it. So I was prepared to just like not have it. So that's why that. Um, how did you get into fishing? Um, 
Well, I started fishing with my dad when I was really young, and then my parents divorced when I was nine, and then after that, I kind of lost my fishing partner. He actually moved to Canada, so I wasn't just like a, okay, yeah, divorce, to see you on the weekends. Like, <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> but it's okay. I get to travel a lot, which is great. Um, but yeah, he did get me into fishing, and then I kind of lost it. Um, went to school, and then um, kind of found it again, uh, and I'm so glad I did. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to make, bake, or cook? Um, honestly, okay, so savory, I think my favorite thing to make would be that white, that um, that white wine cream sauce, that um, crawfish cream sauce that I had in my last post. A lot of people ask me about. I have to make that again because it's just amazing on everything like chicken, steak fish it's amazing and then for sweet i think my favorite thing to bake would definitely be um the slutty brownies i also i also did a video on those it's literally just like a um a layer of chocolate chip cookie and then it's oreos and then it's um it's um uh, what is it brownie on top of that so it's like a three layer brownie and it's like incredible okay hold on Favorite panhandle beach? <laughs> I don't think I have one. Hello. You probably already addressed this, but I hope you're doing well on all this corona stuff. I am. Thank you guys for inquiring. Doing really good. Just, you know, bored out of my mind, trying to find stuff to do and trying to find projects to do around the house, did the garden. Um, I created this little coffee station. Show it to y'all. Boom. So I'm pretty proud of it. Got my little Keurig. Found this little, all this stuff on Amazon. Probably spent way too much money. Got this little shelf. I even painted like a little thing. Oh, I'm very proud of it. Anyway. <laughs> um, what veggies did you plant? So I have, um, I was very limited, honestly, because I went to... Lowe's and they actually have a really good or no I did Home Depot and they actually have a pretty good garden section so I expected to find a lot of stuff but everything was wiped out of course didn't think of that but I got tomatoes I got potatoes I got little onions I got um I got another um oh I got um sweet peppers and I got white eggplant which I had no idea was a thing um but it is, so I'm excited to get some and hopefully try it. Miss you, oh, I miss you too, cat. Um, Shimano Stratic, <laughs> I agree. Um, oh yeah, I have heard things about Okuma reels. Um, I haven't tried them. I've actually never had a problem with Shimano, so I've never needed to try anything else. And they make really cheap Shimano reels too, that I can like disposable ones that I can just use for my charter, which are really good. And then they have more expensive ones, like the one I have that I know I can, you know, trust. So, but thank you. I will definitely look into them if I ever have an issue with Shimano. How about gathering all your recipes and turning into a recipe book? And some of your highlights are in the past year. That's not a bad idea. So I actually considered writing a little cookbook. Um, I mean, it's still there on the list of like things I want to do for sure. But I just haven't really dove into researching what it's going to take, like how I'm going to even start the process of doing that. And do I even have enough recipes to fill up a book? I mean, I know I can do like a little short book, but. But definitely, yeah, thank you for, for, for the idea. Um, who keeps texting you? It's my sister. So my sister and my mom have a group chat with me on WhatsApp. So my sister actually also lives in Canada, and my mom's in Jacksonville, Florida. And I am so close to my mom and my sister, it's crazy. So, so yeah, we have a, a group chat on WhatsApp, and you can just imagine they're always just sending videos and pictures and all that stuff. Um, do you prefer fishing fresh water or salt water? That's what I think he meant to say. Um, 
I don't know. Well, I definitely salt water if I had to pick one or the other. But here in Louisiana, we have a lot of brackish water. And that's what I'm used to fishing. So I mean, you get the best of both worlds with brackish water. So definitely that. Did you ever go fishing in Canada? No, the last time I went, I wanted to take my dad fishing because it was his birthday. But um, I don't know what happened. I, I thought I set up a guide and I, there was just miscommunication. And he's told me something about it being too cold. Um, and everybody was putting their boats up already. Um, so no, not yet, but I hope to. Ever been deep sea fishing? Yeah, I have. I just went tuna fishing for the first time a couple of weeks ago in Venice. That was really fun. Um, and I've gone offshore in Bermuda too, and in um, where was it? Isla Mirada. So that was really fun. Um, I'm definitely more of an inshore girl. If I had to pick one or the other, I just can't. I don't know. I just I don't get the thrill from offshore fishing that much. And like my hands are like. My arms are like noodles, so like I reel in something, anything over 50 pounds, and it's like, all right, I'm just gonna drink the rest of the day, you know? What are you growing in your garden? Oh, you just missed it. So tomatoes, white eggplant, onions, potatoes, oh, and strawberries. I found a strawberry plant, I'm so excited. Um, What power action rod would you recommend purchasing for a beginner inshore fisherman? Um, probably like a six foot medium, medium heavy. But it really depends on what you're doing. Like, are you doing inshore freshwater, inshore saltwater? Are you using a bait caster for spinning? Um, I had sent you a message on Instagram about a possible fake account with your likeness. Yes. I appreciate everybody that has taken the time to actually message me about all these fake accounts. There are too many of them. I swear once get, one gets made literally every day. And it's super annoying because a lot of people are actually falling for them, which is like the worst part. And then messaging me about getting like a refund. I'm like, dude, that's, that's your loss. Like, I can't believe you even like, Yep. But anyway, thank you for letting me know. Um, there are tons. So if you do see one, just please report it and unfollow it, I guess. I don't know. Um, hey, Cammie. So my kids and I are wanting to start fishing during these crazy times, but I want you to spend a lot. What do you recommend to start out? Um... Um, honestly, I mean, it doesn't take a lot. They have, um, so I don't know how old your kids are, but, um, Walmart and a couple other places like Academy and Sportsman's Warehouse, they have like things like the setups that are already, that are already set up with a rod and reel. And some even come with like little tackle boxes full of like little plastic lures that you can try. Um, I mean, I would definitely start with one of those. Um, they're probably like really cheap rods and reels, but if you're just getting started, I mean, it's it's nice to just have something to throw a line in the water. And then if eventually you decide or your kids decide that they really want to do that, then I would definitely start to invest in some nicer equipment. Um, oh. Um, what, is, what is your ethnicity? I am Colombian, actually. I was born in Bogota, um, and I moved over when I was three, which is why I don't have an accent. But yeah, my first language is actually Spanish. My mom and my sister and my dad. Um, my sister actually speaks really good English, so my mom and my dad still aren't there yet. So I do speak Spanish with them when I when they call or anything like that. You're beautiful. Thank you. Hey, Cami, how are you? Remember me from Brendan Partridge? Listen, I probably would if I saw your face. I am terrible with names. Like, it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. I have, an, I have an issue. No, 
Oh my goodness, that's all I lost everybody. Where was I? Hey, Cammie. Hey. How's the fishing been at the Wrigley's? Listen, water is so dirty around here right now. It's like chocolate milk. And they just opened the spillway a couple days ago. Again. So, hopefully... They don't keep it open for as long as they did last year because then we'll be really screwed. But, um, but no, I mean, I haven't, I can't tell you how it's been. I haven't fished around here. I haven't tried to fish around here in months. I, every time that I go fishing, it's straight across the Biloxi Marsh. That's the only place right now that I can find clear, clear water or clean water. So, sorry. Hey, Cammie, come to Louisiana and rescue me from all this virus lockdown and take me fishing. I would, but I'm also in Louisiana, so we're kind of in the same boat. Love your videos. Thanks. Will you go hunting? So, I actually... <laughs> Uh, I've gone duck hunting before, and I really, so I think the issue with me and hunting is that I haven't found a gun that I can actually hold up and shoot without it, like, really damaging <laughs> um, my body. I bruise, like, so easily, and the last few times that I've gone duck hunting, it's, I, the shotguns that they give me are, I, they have such a kick that like I wake up the next morning and like, and mind you, it's not even worth it. Cause like I maybe hit one duck, like, and it's by total accident, like wrong place at the wrong time flying kind of thing. But I really am terrible. Like I'm a terrible aim, but I think that I just need to find, you know, like I said, something better for my stature and I haven't found it yet. So yes, I will try it again. Once I find that Maybe a youth model. People keep telling me to use a youth model, but every place that I've gone to to duck hunt, like, never has an, a youth model that they can let me use. So I don't even know what that feels like yet. Um, did I see that you routinely meal prep? If so, how many days do you prep for? I don't. I don't. I don't know how people do that, honestly. Like, I wish I could, but... I have never been the person to sit down and make a meal for a whole week. Like I get bored eating chicken like one day. That's why, I mean, I eat fish like three times a week now, but I try to find different recipes on Pinterest and online. There's no way that I could eat the same meal like for more than two days straight. There's no way. So disjoints, what's with the lack of cooking videos? Damn, called out. Um, Honestly, I just haven't had time. That's bullshit. Oh, shit. Can I say bullshit on here? Oh, my God. Sorry. Um, okay. That's not, that's not, that's not true because I have had time. I've had nothing but time. Um, honestly, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like I need to just take the time and write down some recipes that I really want to get on YouTube and just film them. Um, I just always have so many technological problems that it's just like hard for me to like get there and motivate myself to want to film the video. Like my light broke, my light, um, my light thing that I brought and bought on Amazon, it literally lasted three weeks. It broke two days ago. So now my videos are going to have crappy lighting unless I film them during the day like I am today. Well, sort of, um, but I promise I will try to film more often, especially now. I really don't have anything to do. No excuses. So y'all are right. Um, do you do any troll fishing where the boat moves along and, and waiting to get hooked? Um, I don't troll almost ever um a lot of people in the neighborhood actually do and a few of them are actually catching some trout in here which is great i don't have the patience to troll um oh thanks nicole i appreciate it are your cats around yes do y'all want to see them somebody please say yes 
wish I had some of your Doritos fried fish right now. That, yeah, that's a good one. Um, actually, the pizza, I think it's about done. I made it up to the, whoa. Okay. All right, so I'm actually going to put it in for like five more minutes. I expected it to rise because I'm so used to working with the croissant dough, but y'all, it freaking rose. I did not expect that, but I'm sure it's going to taste great. <laughs> Um, yes, the timer, yes, thank you. Can you speak Spanish? I can. Let's see the cats. Y'all know I just want to show y'all my cats. <laughs> okay, you know what? If y'all are insisting, I'm going to go get one. Y'all, I can't find it. Oh, she's right here. All right, y'all. So this is Brownie. This is the mom I was telling you about that had uh, babies in my kitchen, and then I couldn't let her go. So, yeah, she's adorable. And I have two boys that are currently outside. And then I have another girl, Patches, um, hurting cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's in the cup? Um, no, 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 no. <sighs> Vodka cranberry. Anybody else drinking out there? Let's play a game. Four cats in five minutes. Listen, don't tempt me with a good time. But my two boy cats are outside right now, so that would be really hard. All right. <laughs> All right, I think like four more minutes and we should be good. Coffee from your espresso, espresso machine at 640. Miller Lite, Irish whiskey, vodka crayon. Yep. I'm actually a tequila girl though. Um, but when I want like a mixed drink, it's definitely vodka cranberry. Have you joined the house party app? No. What is that? Have you ever taken the cat out on a boat? So I've actually always wanted to try, but they always freak out when, oh, hey, Brownie, when it moves. Um, like I've actually gotten one on the boat and then it starts kind of rocking just a little bit and they like go insane. So what kind of tequila? Um, 
Don Julio's good. Um, I've actually started drinking this one tequila. It's called High Tequila. It's spelled like H-I tequila. Um, it is so good. If y'all haven't, if y'all are tequila fans, y'all need to try it. It's inexpensive. It's good. It goes down smooth, chilled. It's like on the rocks, like a little bit of lime. You don't even need a mixer. So good. Are y'all still, sort of still chartering during this mess? If not, when do y'all start back up? Um, we technically are. We're taking a lot of measures though. Like um, I usually have like three people per charter, but I'm not allowing anything other than parties of two right now because you just never know, especially people coming from New Orleans. I mean, New Orleans right now has like the most cases of positive coronavirus right now. So we're not taking any risks. Um, we are still technically chartering, but I try to talk to my clients like a lot, make sure they're not sick at all. They, they haven't been in contact with anybody sick and stuff like that. So what is the longest fish and the heaviest you've ever caught? Um, so I can't, we actually didn't measure how long he was, but he was 32 pounds. It was a big bull red. Um, it was crazy. That's my biggest. Um, so yeah. Um, it's an app where you and your friends call. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I might have to look at, look, look that app up. What is it called again? house party app okay i definitely have to look that up because i actually saw this thing on facebook that i wanted to try of a group of six people getting together and they played flip cup and it looks like so much fun so i think i want to try that app um Yeah, you should try that tequila. That'd be awesome. Better be safe and do not take someone's word. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, honestly, though, I haven't been able, I haven't needed to deal with any people because everybody's just canceling. So, yeah. I mean, my next trip isn't until the 18th, I believe. And, I mean, who knows if it's even happening. I haven't heard from them. But with everything going on, I'm sure that the fishing trip that you scheduled for three weeks from now is the last thing that you want to think about. So, yeah, it has been four minutes, and I just checked. Y'all, this puff pastry, I mean, it's, like, it's growing, and it's, but it's still, like, light on the outside, you know? So, like, I want that kind of, like, dark, crispy edge. Um, plus, I, like, I want it to be, I know it's, like, cooked inside, but I want it to be, like, fully cooked. Because there's one side that's, like, super light, and then the other side that's, like, really nice. Oh, thank you, Nathan. That's, that was really sweet. Um, hardest fish you ever pulled in. Um, well, I just went tuna fishing, so that's probably the biggest fight that I've had. I fought him for five minutes, um, and I was about to die. Like, it was the most embarrassing thing. I am pretty sure somebody took a video of it, so I'm sure you guys will see it eventually. But it was, like, somebody holding the rod while it was in the rod holder and me with both hands, like, trying to reel. It was not my proudest moment, but it was. I think it was, like, a 100-plus pound tuna, but the line just, like, gave in. So it popped. Favorite fish to catch, definitely a redfish. I just love how they fight. And I love to just catch what, what I know I like to eat. And redfish are my favorite besides flounder. So, when you come to South Padre Island, do you fish or just come down to the events? I've never fished over there, actually. Um, nope. Not that I haven't wanted to. I just 
haven't gotten the opportunity to. Um, favorite fish to eat? Yeah, definitely redfish. Oh, flounder. Yeah, stuffed flounder. Oh, oh. If you need a good flounder recipe, you only need to check out my flounder rolls. Oh my gosh, that stuff is amazing. It's addicting. It's the same like white sauce that I use. All right, this has to be ready. Okay. Final product. Let it cool down. Uh, have you ever done a fish cookout with banana leaves or whatever they use to dig a hole on the beach? Um, no, I haven't. That sounds interesting, though. All right, let me bring that over here so y'all can see. There you go. Our breakfast pizza is ready. Our egg looks like super perfect. Let me just make sure. Oh yeah, that looks really, really good. All right, I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper on here. All right, y'all, this looks amazing. It smells so good, I wish you could smell it. Are we gonna come to Queens, New York for some big fluke? Um, that definitely was not one of the ones that was in my list of places that I want to go, but I do want to catch some huge flounder, like huge. How does the fishing up by you compare to down in Venice? All right, it's really different. It's so different. and. Like a lot of people that come that come to charter with me, they've gone fishing fishing in Venice and they expect it to be that good and it's like not <laughs> it's just it's it's I feel like it's harder fishing a little bit. Um, but it can be really good. Don't I mean don't get me wrong. I mean fishing over here if you get it at the right time and you know where to go, I mean it can be like absolutely amazing. But I would say Venice is still better fishing, better better fishery. Just cutting this up so I can show y'all. Um, when you come back to South Padre, Padre Island, I would like to take pictures with you. Me and my friends are big fans of your Insta. Oh, now let's make it happen. You're welcome for answering. Ever been tarpon fishing? Yes. Um, I went tarpon fishing in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I leadered it. So some people have told me that that counts. I'm gonna make it count, but I have never like actually got one technically. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all final product. of our breakfast pizza. Delicious. Mm. Wow. That is amazing. I 
would definitely eat that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bleedering it counts, but bonus if you take a picture with it. I didn't. Best fishing trip you've ever been on? I don't know. Um, I've been on like a lot of good fishing trips, like a lot. I think my favorite was probably this wasn't even a fishing trip, but I mean, I really can't pick from fishing trips. I've been on so many and they were all so amazing. Um, but I went lobstering in the Keys. Y'all, if you haven't done that yet, I definitely recommend it. If you like to swim or snorkel and do anything like that, that is the most rewarding, most fun experience like I've ever had. Glad to see you keeping up with yourself busy with your channel. Thanks. Cut the pizza, it's cut. Big slice. I can show you the whole thing. So I tasted it and it tastes amazing, but definitely if you have a preference, if you like can choose between the puff pastry and the croissant pastry, the croissant dough, get the croissant dough. It just adds that like croissant flavor. So good. What about fishing for Goliaths? Never done that yet, yet. Um, I think the best trip is always the next one. I like that. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm gonna bring this to an end. Oh my goodness, I've always been on here for an hour. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, but thank you guys for watching. Those of you that did, thank you guys for liking and taking the time to live chat with me during all of this. This is fun. I actually really enjoy this. So um, look out for probably more of these in the future. And um, uh, that was a good video you did with Todd Mason. Thank you. Yeah, that was really fun. He's awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to show you my pizza one more time so you guys can get really hungry if you haven't eaten. Delicious. Um, and until next time. <laughs>